Hey guys, so I wanted to make this short video here uh, because I noticed something on the Ender 3 V2 when I was working on it yesterday and uh, I thought that maybe some of uh, you might have the same issue and this has to do with the usable uh, x-axis space uh, for some reason my Ender 3 V2 uh, is, is off by about four millimeters and that, that's going to throw all your prints off and uh, take away from the maximum usable bed space that you have available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what, what I found. So I'm going to start by homing the printer. I'm going to move the x-axis. To the zero position. Alright, so it's currently at the zero position. Let me show you what's going on here. So I'm going to bring it down, bring this down to about two millimeters. So as you can see there, I'm not right on the edge. And then if I bring the X over to the maximum 230, you can see here that I'm uh, almost, almost off the build plate. Uh, so I had a little extra room on the left side that I don't have on this side that can easy, easily be adjusted if there was a way to move the x-axis end stop. Uh, but the way that Creality sets up the end stop on the Ender 3v2 is it's bolted to this to this little plastic piece here. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a part in on shape. To allow us to adjust this uh, end stop here. So let's uh, jump over to Onshape. We'll design a quick part and then we'll replace it on the printer.
All right, guys, so here's the, the completed part. So just finished printing. And uh, it mounts up like this. So it's going to go right here. And there's two pieces to this. There's uh, there's a little back back part. And this part I tapped with, uh, I believe it's a 0.6 millimeter thread pitch by 3 millimeter bolt diameter. And uh, how it works is... The end stop is sandwiched between these two parts, and then it, it, we can we can move it left and right. So I'll assemble it and we'll try it out and see if it works. I'll start off by taking off the original end stop. So go ahead and shut off your machine. And uh, I would unplug it just to make sure that and accidentally get turned on while you're working on it. And then it's just these Allen keys here in the front. Uh, yours will probably have a sticker here that has a QR code. So you just peel that sticker off and then you can get to these bolts. I, I, I Honestly, I think it looks better without the sticker. And then when you take off the last screw, be careful because the, the motor could fall out. Uh, but it's being held on by the timing belt, so it should just hang there. And what you could do after taking the last screw off is you could put one of the screws back on there just to hold it to make sure it doesn't fall off. And that right there will keep it in place. Unplug your end stop. JST connector. And then here we have the here we have the part. So let me change the position of the camera and then we'll install the new adapter. Alright guys, so what we're gonna need for screws, placement screws is uh, these are these are three millimeter by three millimeter by twelve. So what you want to do is put your little uh, end piece on and then I already uh, tapped this piece of plastic so it should just screw on and it does. So it bolts, bolts up just like this. And now what you can do is you have some adjustment here with the uh, with the end stop. So once you get it where you need it, I'm just gonna bolt it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the uh, on the motor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten this up 
Um, let's see where we are. Move it back just a little bit. And before I turn it on, I'm going to roll the print head over and make sure that I'm not hitting this bracket back here because this uh, that lower wheel has a little bolt that sticks out that's very close to this bracket. So I just want to make sure that I'm not going to collide into that into that bolt. Uh, no, it doesn't look, doesn't look like I am. All right, so let's try it. I'm going to home the printer. All right, now I'm going to move the print head back over to the uh, zero position. And we'll see if there's uh, more adjustment needed. Okay, so it looks like we're about maybe two millimeters off the edge. So now let's move the head over to the other side. So I'm going to set my X to 230. And we'll see if, we'll see where we are on the other side. I'm going to put now my print head at right in the middle. So this is going to be 115. And then we'll see if we need to make any more adjustments. So I got one of these, these little uh, center finder finder rulers. Uh, fortunately, this one's in inches. So we'll have to make some conversions, but should be able to figure out where we need to be here. All right, so that's 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 right where we need to be. So that's that spot on center of the build plate. So that's it, guys. I'll leave a link to the STL file in the video description. That way, if you guys want to use it, you can. Um, but uh, yeah, awesome. I'm just gonna tighten this thing up. And that's it. Guys, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell. And leave me some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Till next time. Take care, guys.